It's been six months since Rizal Karim came home. Where he'd been was terrifying. Rizal was tortured in Thailand by human traffickers. They beat him with a pipe when he couldn't give them any more money. Me and the others were all starving, but we were all throwing up as well because of the torture. Everyone smelled terrible. It was like our skin was rotting. I saw two people die. Their bodies were just dumped. Rizal was lured to Thailand by promises of better jobs and a better life in Malaysia. About 4,000 people have been trafficked from his home district of Shirajgonj, according to migrant rights researchers. Few families have been lucky enough to see their relatives return. These boats are filled with ethnic Rohingya escaping religious-based violence. But the Bangladeshi migrants on them are trying to escape oppression that is economic and environmental. Shirajgonj is home to some of the worst river erosion in the country. Many people here have lost their homes several times. Our research found that only 20% of those who left knew how to sign their names. So that shows the traffickers are targeting uneducated people who are easily fooled. Unlike the Rohingya who spend days sneaking through hills and forests to get to the boats, Bangladeshis begin their journey in a much simpler fashion. They just hop on a train or a bus that will take them to the coast often with little clue about the dangers that await. It's been six months since Mina Begum heard from her husband, Abdul Karim. She's expecting her third child. The last time I spoke to him was when he was about to get on the boat, and he called and said, don't worry, I'm in good hands. I asked who was taking you. He said it's an agent called Altaf. Mina is due any day now. And the only thing that keeps going round in her head is a question. Will her baby ever see his father? Mahar Sattar, Al Jazeera, Shirajganj, Bangladesh.